guys, this is Katya with Creative Image Studio. Today I'm sharing with you my wallet card design and this is not a new design. I designed it before with the Kazercraft Beautiful Collection and also you can find a tutorial for it in my Etsy shop and it is tutorial number 22. Now with that out of the way, let's look at it more closely. So it offers a lot of flowers here uh, at the front some feathers and uh, this looks maybe like an enamel sticker however it is a die cut from cardstock and then I added some liquid crystal drops uh, and these are by Nuvo you could of course also use glossy accents or some such and this is a sticker stamp or stamp sticker all from the same collection and this is the Bow Bunny Rose Cafe collection which is from a couple of years ago and it offers some lovely, lovely papers and patterns, in my opinion. With uh, a lot of uh, off-whites, but also some dark browns and uh, yellows and blues. And uh, well, it's a, it's a very lovely combination of colors, in my opinion. So I try to accentuate these colors again by using flowers that uh, have these same colors. So that is the front of the card. When you open it up, it offers two layouts. Here is a small layout or an, a simple one, relatively simple one. Uh, it says hugs here and I lifted it a bit with uh, dimensional tape. And here is a die cut from the Noteworthy die cut pack that comes with uh, several of Bobani's uh, collections from those years. And the same goes for this one here. So this is also a die cut from that same die cut pack. Now what I did here is add a picture. This is the lady that this birthday card is uh, going to. I added another one of the noteworthy die cuts and lifted it with dimensional tape. Added a little die cut curl here. And these flowers here, they are digital scrapbooking actually, which is something I discovered of late. I knew it existed before but never uh, tried my hand at it so uh, here it is. One of my attempts. So here and here. So I love this combination of actual scrapbooking with papers or, or, or paper crafting and digital paper crafting. So there you go. Closing up the card and now opening it up the other way. So here is the first picture on the inside of the card. Now let's look at the left margin here. So there's a strip of design paper and then a die cut that I did from cardstock and a little butterfly here that I die cut as well and stickled it or added glitter glue. Same goes for that banner that you see there. This is one of the noteworthy die cuts again. I stamped the letter L, but then I found that the white ink, the white chalk ink that I used wasn't white enough to my taste. So I uh, accentuated this letter, her initial, so the initial of this lady here, with uh, a white marker. And this is a white enamel dot. And again, the glitter glue that I added here. Now here is the picture. And this is also the reason that I chose this paper collection because you, I try to work with the colors in this picture. So it's the bright blue jacket here of this uh, lovely lady. And then this colorful coat here uh, of my mother. So I try to have these colors uh, in the card. So I, there's the yellow, there's the green, the blue, um, some darker purples here. So, and this is all in the jacket here. So um, that is, you know, my way of making it one consistent whole. So working with these colors helps. So here's another one of the noteworthy die cuts. It says friends because they are friends. And here it says a Rose Cafe Freshly Brewed Heaven. Now these Rose Cafe papers have a sort of a coffee theme running throughout the papers. So here it's a reference to coffee as well. I added some uh, flat back pearls here and uh, well, let's open it up. And here is another picture. And uh, here again, one of the noteworthy die cuts. So my mom can write 
for example, the date that she were that she was visiting, uh, or something sweet that she wants to uh, say to her friend. And then in the center of the card, I simply created a layout without a picture. So the pictures are actually uh, more on the side panels. So there's lots of enamel dots, but also uh, some paper uh, dots here. So when I punch holes, you always have these little small circles. And these are two of them. And on this one, I added the same uh, crystal drops that I use on the front of the card, which gives it a, an effect actually of an enamel dot. So there's a tip for you. And again, the coffee theme here. Life tastes better with coffee. This uh, noteworthy die cut here says dreamer. And then I stamped creative greetings in Dutch, creative groetjes, which is a Crealis stamp. And here I die cut a doily. So created a layout. Now my original design has a magnet closure for this entire card. So you close up the card and then there's from the back to the front a magnetized closure. I left that out on this card because I figured that the recipient uh, would like to see the pictures and put the card like this. And then the magnet closure would be in the way uh, and would be of no real use. So that is why I left that out. But uh, in the tutorial, I explained to you how to create this magnetized closure. So you can choose whether to use it or not. So that was my card. So you can open it like this and you can open it like this. And of course, you can play around with what to do with this center part. You could also uh, take this to uh, be your writing uh, space. So do uh, your journaling or your wishes to the, the person that you're sending this card to. And then you can add more pictures on uh, these two uh, uh, surfaces here, or you could do a layout here. Well, there's lots and lots of possibilities. It's a very versatile card and it's original with lots of flaps and yet simple enough for a non-paper crafting uh, recipient to uh, get it. So it's not difficult, not complex. So I hope you like this design. Uh, as I mentioned, you can uh, create it yourself by following my tutorial in my Etsy shop. There's a link in the description below. Uh, this is the paper that I used, Rose Cafe by Bo Bunny, which I love very, very much. And uh, yeah, so I hope to see you next week. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, I will see you next week. Bye bye.